Hi everybody, this is Andrea with Semi Gourmet and this is a tip video. Clean dishes, clean pots, clean utensils, things like that. Food poisoning, believe it or not, it's not that difficult to uh, poison yourself. <laughs> if you're cooking chicken like we do, you want to handle it properly because there is still proper handling of meat and that sort of thing to be concerned about in a truck. You don't have a uh, sink with hot running water and the kind of soap you use is very important. So if you can find this, Walmarts do carry this, if you can find E-Cover, E-Cover soap, get it because it is um, a natural dishwashing liquid, a major brand. They have all kinds of chemicals that actually stays on your dishes and your pans and your utensils and you don't want to be eating that stuff. This is Ecover. It's how it comes and you can see that that is just soap in a bottle. But I never use straight soap and the reason is very simple. It takes a lot of hot water to wash that heavy uh, soap off of your dishes and we don't have lots of hot water in the truck. So the easiest way to solve that problem is to take borax, put it about this tall in a bottle like this. I just took a um, another Ecover bottle that was empty. I put borax in the bottom and filled it with water. You take your borax water and your soap and you put about this much soap and the rest borax. So it's about a third soap and two thirds of borax. And borax has powerful germ killing properties and it's very safe. Other uh, thing that's great about borax is that the, the, um, the sponge never smells bad. Um, the sponge never smells bad. Um, the sponge never smells bad. And that's because of the bacteria killing quality of borax and it'll keep your sponge smelling sweet just keep food off of your sponge wipe the food out before you use this I wash my plastic bowls with this um, it's very simple I wash the bowl then I use a spray bottle just like this spray it on the bowl two or three times with a paper towel and that gets the soap off and it cleans it and leaves a good smell. Um, and you can keep your utensils clean and germ free, germ and bacteria free, which is really good because you don't want to get sick out here on the road. We are in 2015 uh, technology, but in a truck, living in a truck day by day, we're actually in the 1850s because we have no running water <laughs> the only hot water we have is that that gets heated up and say something like this, like a kettle. Just washing out your plastic bowls and your pots, this works great. So there's your tip for today, all you semi-gourmets. See you next time. It's in uh, major brands like, um, oh goodness, I can't even think of any, um, the heavy soaps like Whatever, you know what I'm talking about. So what about all the traffic, you see? Well, they figure it out, they get out of your way. <laughs> Do you get to play with the remote and steer the back end? I had to steer these guys too. Yeah. I mean, it's just really interesting to me. I figured it's something people would want to know about, you know? Here comes the third one. Maybe we'll get to see him uh, turn these back axles. That guy in the back is, is operating the back axles. What a cool thing. <laughs>